Okay, we start with a stressor. This is the event which causes the diver to be stressed. That event can be external, like a leaking mask, or internal, like a worrying thought. It can also include things like gas density effects, such as narcosis and hypercapnia. The stressor is the situation, thought or sensation that the diver is encountering. But we know that divers face stressors underwater all the time and we don't always panic. We deal with the leaking mask. So clearly something else is needed to spark panic. So next we bring in the diver's readiness. The skills, knowledge and equipment of the diver relative to that situation. A deficit in diver readiness means that there is some lack in the kit or skills needed for that particular dive. When you're on a dive that you're not ready for, then you may not have access to all the means needed to fix a problem. And divers only panic if they don't see other options. And yet, we know divers do handle difficulties underwater, and not every diver will panic if their kit fails. There has to be something else. And that's how the diver responds to the challenge of the situation and their current mental, emotional and physical state. That's regulation. And this state's described on a scale of hyper to hypo arousal because we can wind ourselves up and we can calm ourselves down. And among, amongst other things, this affects how we perceive the stressor and how we work out what to do about it. To handle the stressor, we need to be mentally alert and able to calm any excessive reactions like rapid breathing or catastrophic thinking. So this is the third side, a difficulty in regulation, a difficulty in dealing with the emotions, thoughts or sensations. Panic is sparked when a diver encounters a stressor, has a lack of readiness relative to that dive, and a difficulty in regulating their own responses to the stressor. It takes all three to spark panic. And just like a fire can be prevented by removing sources of heat, fuel and oxygen, we can reduce the chances that a diver would panic by managing all three sides of this triangle. So we can take into account the diver's fitness to dive in their ability to regulate their appropriate appropriate readiness for the dive in terms of their equipment, skills and knowledge, and we can plan the dive around the likely stresses.